Okay, so this is my Orange Pi 5 Plus, and uh, I've been trying to get Fortnite running on it. I've got this custom build of Android or Google TV. It does both. Both are in this, uh, and it's based on Android 12. And as you can see, it's nice and snappy. Uh, it's pretty well supported. Uh, all sorts of apps are installable, uh, although I am having a weird file issue in trying to get ROMs into PS2 and Dolphin and things like that, which I didn't have on the official Orange Pi versions. But uh, I thought I'd give it a try with Fortnite anyway, so let's launch it and see. Okay, so let's go for the standard game, Battle Royale. Let's skip all this and play. Please disable developer mode and restart Fortnite. Right, okay. So let's have a look at that. USB debugging and developer mode. So preferences. So it says I'm not a developer. Yeah, I'm going to have to go into developer mode to be able to turn that off. So let's keep pressing that. I'm now a developer, so developer options, ah, there you go, I can turn it off there in a minute, so USB debugging off, let's leave that as it is and turn that off, okay, let's give that another go, and because I'm playing this with a controller, I might have an advantage over, I don't know if it pits you up against uh, people using touch. I remember it used to be super easy on the iPad when it used to work on iPad. There was an error. You were removed from the match due to an internet lag, your IP or machine, VPN usage for cheating or being an untrusted player. Oh, no. That is what I've had before. Would it let me do some of the other modes? Let's try this first. Is this the bit when it takes too long doing this? Is this the bit when it's actually checking and then it finds... Oh no, we're in. Oh, ho, ho. Let's get a gun, lap. It feels all right. Yeah, I'd say it feels all right. I'm used to playing it. Oh, I'm in. Wow, I wonder why it didn't think it was good enough before. <laughs> that let me get far. Just trying one of these bike modes to see if it will let me play because it's not competitive. Or well, I don't think it is. Okay, I've got some weird glitches. Yeah, because it's not competitive, it looks like it's going to let me play it. Do a little jump. Oh, that didn't go so well. Okay, so that bit works. I don't know if I can lose the bike, can I? No, you can't. You can't jump off the bike. Oh, okay. Still doesn't like it even on that, but it did let me play it for a bit. So let's go back into battle royale and just see if I can get away with playing a little bit more. And can we have a look at settings? 30 FPS, 75% 3D resolution, quality was on epic. Okay, so again, we're in the lobby. Okay, all of that seems to be working all right. Okay, come on, let me play. Oh, <laughs> so annoying. Just trying to Lego world to see if that's going to work. Okay, we're in. Oh, it doesn't have the slide the same. Oh, it's like a Minecraft. 
And that seems to be, oh no, it's kicked me out. <laughs> Okay, I tried several more times and uh, it, it just kept quitting out. So it is definitely the unsupported device thing that's coming up, which I don't know how we'll really get over. Maybe you can spoof it to think it's a different device, but uh, let's just show you a bit more of this operating system. So we've got various different home screens. So this is the uh, sort of standard one that you would get on a lot of the RK3588 boards. But if we go back into advanced, we can change to Android TV Home. So if I press the Xbox button now, this is the Android TV Home one. Uh, but it also has this Applications app already installed. So this supports things that don't show up on Android TV, uh, which is really important because Android TV will only show you TV certified apps, but you can install pretty much any app on it. Uh, I did mention before, I've had problems with trying to get files working, and this does seem to be an Android 12 issue, where you try and add a folder, and you don't have an app that can do this. I tried installing various different file explorers, but yeah, I couldn't get it to work, and it was actually quite frustrating, so I've left it on that. I did install Netflix, but unfortunately Netflix comes up with an error. And let's show that other home screen launcher as well. So this was the Google TV. And this must be the Google TV one, I think. There you go, so this is a different one again. Yeah, really nice interface and uh, definitely works really well and really snappy, but it's like on the Raspberry Pi 5, we're gonna get that issue with official wideband support and not being able to support up to 4K, uh, whether people have got workarounds for this. But this operating system, let's show you how to get it. I'm definitely not gonna put any links. And I've just switched back to Windows to show this. The way I found it was on the Orange Pi forums, there's a Orange Pi 5 Android 12 thread here. And if you go to, I think 22 was the, the page link. Uh, so they talk about a version by Woe 123, and then they talk about what they say is a better version, this new version by Rick. Now it can be installed to EMMC, and uh, I've installed mine to SD card. I did try for ages to get it working on NVMe, but it doesn't work, or not this version anyway. Uh, Google Play was installed, but you had to clear out the cache and set it on TV mode. So I think Android TV mode for it to work and you can see the maximum resolution it will go to is 1080. But yeah, somewhere along here, they talk about it being on four PDA, and I think they say, yeah, page uh, page 208. So if we go uh, four PDA orange pie five plus, and it's here, and then, yeah, page 208. Oh, and if you, if you do this with Google, so copy, open it on Google, it will give you the option of being able to translate, which is super handy. So we can go up the top here, English, we'll go to page 208, and there's a Google Drive link here. So, I mean, I can't attest to, you know, how safe it is or anything like that. Obviously, it's up to you what you do with your own computer. Uh, I wanted to try it out, so I did. I was looking for the best version of Android to pay emulators. This doesn't seem to be it. Uh, because of that file issue, but I did enjoy playing with it and uh, because it's got all the latest OpenGL uh, It did get us very close to getting Fortnite running now when you've downloaded that image if you choose to do this uh, There is a file here So you've got to unzip the file that you get and it will give you this image file and use the SD disk tool to write it which is this one here. And uh, if you want it in English, you've got to go into config and you've got to change the language to two. It was on one or Chinese by default. And then once you do that and then save it, when you launch the firmware tool and you've got to say that you trust it, uh, I selected SD boot, selected my SD card at the top here, choose the firmware. So this is basically the image so it's in this folder so this one here and then hit create and that created it and then it booted from the sd card anyway it was worth a try getting fortnite running if anybody's got any tips on how to get it running on an sbc i'd love to get it running on a raspberry pi 5 as well but we do have that issue of the OpenGL drivers are just a bit too old or there's something missing anyway i hope all this helps thanks very much for watching please like 
and subscribe.